Hello friends, this operating system class we will start the second part of uh, uh, 5th unit that is system security and let us see the introduction to system security in today's class and we will see the security problems and types of violations. Here breach of confidentiality, breach of integrity, breach of availability and theft of service, denial of service. So this will come under violations and after that we will see the levels of security measures. So the levels will be physical, human, operating system and network level. These four are uh, will come under levels of security measures. System security which is nothing but our computer system security and uh, this is one of the most important as well as major task in the computer system. We have to protect our resources. Okay. Now, uh, the computer resources must be protected against unauthorized access, damage or alteration of resources and accidental introduction of inconsistency. So we have to protect our system from these things. Okay, here the resources are nothing but uh, software resources as well as hardware resources. So we have to protect both the software resources as well as hardware resources which are software resources the information which are stored in our system it may be either data or code it may be system software application software whatever it may be okay and when come to hardware resources we are having cpu memory that is main memory disk secondary storage disk tapes and networking devices and etc all the physical devices are the hardware devices so protecting these two resources are very important so protect the computer resources by examining ways in which accidentally or purposely misused. So who are the persons or how the systems will be misused. So we have to protect the system from the uh, unauthorized access, damages or alteration, accidental introduction of inconsistency. So this is called as security. The security problems. When the system is secure, if the resources are used and access as per planning under all circumstances, then only the system will be called as a secure system. Next, the security violations or misusing the system can be categorized as intentional misuse or accidental misuse. So, two types. Okay, here the following list includes several form of accidental and uh, malicious security violations. First one is threat. Threat is a potential of security violations such as the discovery of vulnerability. This is called as threat. Okay, and second one is attack. Attack is attempt to break the security. We are having some security measures. Attack is nothing but breaking the security and the person uh, who are the intruders or crackers okay intruder or cracker or attempt to break the security and these two persons may be humans or software some software program may also act as intruder or cracker right and next let us see the types of violations attackers use several standard methods in their attempt to breach the security. Breach means break. Okay, here uh, the different types are breaking the confidentiality, breaking the integrity, breaking the availability and theft of services, denial of services. Okay, so these are different types of violations. The first one is breach of integrity. That is breaking the integrity. That means the violation involves unauthorized modification of data okay the data will be modified without the knowledge of owner then this is called as breach of integrity then breach of availability this means unauthorized destruction of data the data will be deleted or modified without the knowledge of owner is called as breach of availability and third one is theft of service theft of service that means unauthorized use of resources Without the knowledge of owner, the resources will be misused. 
right and denial of service this involves preventing legitimate use of the system that is called as denial of services apart from these four violations some other are also there in this first one is masquerading uh, here one uh, participant in a communication pretends to someone else that is uh, the sender and receiver are communicating to each other without the knowledge of sender the receiver can uh, give all information to the attacker also okay so this is called as masquerading okay by masquerading attackers breach the authentication so the authentication is broken in this masquerading attack the second one is replay attack that means replay the captured exchange of data what is that replay attack which consists of malicious or fraudulent repeat of valid data transmission okay the same valid data will be the transaction will be repeated one more time right so this is one attack and for example in a repeat of request to transfer money okay first the sender and receiver are exchanging money the sender uh, request request money for for example 5000 rupees from the receiver and the receiver will give the same money to the sender okay now the attacker will receive the same message and the same message will be given to the receiver okay now the receiver again transfer the same amount to the sender that is the receiver thought he is sending the amount to the sender but the second time money will be received by the attacker okay this is replay attack okay but frequently it will be done with message modification that is frequently this attacker will send the same money request to the receiver and he will continuously get the money from the receiver the next one is man in the middle attack here the attacker sits in the data flow of communication and masquerading as sender to receiver and vice versa that means here the sender and receiver are actually communicating to each other okay now the attacker will sits in between the communication line okay the attacker sits in between the communication line and the attacker will monitor both the, the communication from sender as well as the receiver okay here in network communication man in the middle attack is a session hijacking it is called as session hijacking in which the active communication session is interrupted because of the the attacker who is sitting in the communication line to protect a computer system we must take security measures at four levels okay these four levels are very important first one is physical level and human level operating system level and network level let us see all these four levels in detail one by one the first one is physical level here the site or sites containing the computer system that means the data which contains the computer system must be physically secure against the armed or secret entry by the intruders so we have to protect the system physically from the intruders okay all the machine rooms terminals workstations that have access the machines must be secured from the attackers the second one is human that is authorization must be done carefully to assure that only appropriate users have access the system that is only the authorized users have to access the particular systems sometimes the authorized users may allow the third persons to enter the system okay and this is called as social engineering that is only the authorized user allow the third person to access the computer system is called as social engineering so this type of attack is called as phishing here the legitimate looking of email that is the third person may access our confidential emails web pages 
and enter into the confidential information okay the without the knowledge of owner the third person can access all those things this is called as fishing right another technique is dumpster diving that means looking through trash finding phone books finding notes containing passwords so the third person can access these things also okay the security problems are management problem or personal issues this is not under the operating system problem that will come uh, that will not come under operating system problem so this is actually the human problem the third one is operating system here the computer system must protect by itself from accidental or purposeful security breaches okay here the runway process could constitute an accidental denial of a service attack that is dos attack and a query of a sorry query to a service could reveal the passwords and stack overflow could allow launching an unauthorized process and this list of possible breaches these are possible breaches is almost endless which are the possible breaches the runway process query to a service stack overflow likewise so many other uh, process are also there and this is almost endless these are the problems by operating system and the fourth one is network here uh, the computers will be connected to each other over a network over a network hence the data will be traveled over uh, the private list line shared line like the internet wireless connections or dial up lines so by using all these lines we can connect our computers hence the data will be transmitted through these lines and intercepting data could be just as harmful as breaking into the computer and interruption of communication could constitute a remote denial of service attack okay which is otherwise called as distributed denial of service attack up to this we have seen the introduction to security that is system security here we have seen the security problem types of violation and levels of security measures when come to types of violation there are five violations are the breaching of confidentiality breach of integrity breach of availability theft of service denial of service okay when come to levels of security measures we have seen the physical human operating system and network level In the next class we will see another important topic from 5th unit thank you